While Dante and Zalia are dealing with personal matters, Locke, Sophie, and Charit are free to explore the city of Vienna. The three of them find a building with some statues representing the mythical basilisk. They find out that the organization's suits are plotting something fishy and follow them down an underground labyrinth. Zalia's intervention in the end will be decisive for our heroes. Remember what Dante told us. Always commit to the attack, even if you expect a counter. Are you saying I have commitment issues? Ah! Hyper stride! <laughs> Smooth. Do you want to spar, or are you going to keep fighting yourself? Of course you get it, little miss. I was trained from birth to be a seeker. Dante just told us that spell talent should be an extension of your natural technique. You're so obvious and awkward. Dante's lessons always make sense to me. Ah, uh, bulk flare! Uh, 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 <coughs> but I always end up on my back whenever I actually try and do it. We both practice every day, but you haven't improved at all since we got back from the last mission. I was gonna hit the library, but you were there yesterday, so I figure all the books are still tired. <coughs> temper, temper, Locke. You're not mad because a girl got the best of you, are you? Uh -huh. Look, Sophie, Dante is getting a mission from Guggenheim. All right, if I'm going to be a master seeker, I've got to go on some real missions. You should get down there and see what it's all about. <laughs> According to Greek mythology, their flagship, the Argo, was built around the beam of a divine tree. Which and... probably means it was really enchanted by a seeker. You must be talking about Jason and the Argonauts. Mm. That's right. It's possible the hull of the ship could be intact. Mission Jason and the Argonauts. Reach the fort of Velos, find the flagship Argo, retrieve Jason's logbook and his titans, the hoplites. Guggenheim, I accept. Hmm. A mission at last! And a big one. We'll need Zalia's help. <sighs> Come on, dear. No, not Very bad service. You're looking for a river. <laughs> what a pain. I just want to get right to solving the mystery of the Argos. I should be side by side with Dante. We would have figured this out in no time. No wonder you're always so hard on Zahia. You're jealous, because she's always paired with Dante. Jealous? Why would I be jealous of someone who puts on her makeup with a paint roller? Okay, okay, chill out. Just trust her already. She has saved us like a dozen times. <laughs> uh, or not. There is a river several miles north of the coast. Yeah, it's called Stavopop something or other. The fishermen call it Stavropolos. Right. Stoppity poop blows. Uh. That's what we got. It may be a local legend, but there's a chance the Argonauts sank the ships there so no one else could use them. So, let's find out. Hmm. hmm. Mr. Defoe! It's the Sword of St. George! According to our best information, there's a titan within. The dragon Lindorm. Hmm. It is of no consequence. After all, the organization considers me unworthy to bond with such a titan. Now get out of my sight. I'm merely assigned to transport this titan to Prague, a delivery boy. That's all I am. Stuck in the middle of nowhere when I should be hunting down Dante Vale and destroying him. <clears throat> Defoe here. What? It's about time. Don't let them out of your sight. One of my spies has spotted Dante Vale and his team in Greece. 
Sir, don't you think it would be better for us to complete the mission we have been given? Huh. I'll tell them we're having delays unearthing the sword of St. George. Let's have a look over there. I've input the available map data into the holotome. That's our best bet. Anywhere else and it would have been spotted by now. Holotome, add a ship model right there. Perfect fit! We'll swim down and enter from this side. Even if the hull's been preserved by magic, we'll have to stay alert. What if there's trouble? Can we invoke titans underwater? Of course! Just stick with heavy titans like Freelancer or Killthane. They'll be able to walk along the bottom. Cherit, keep an eye out for unwanted guests. Everyone else, suit up. All right! I've always wanted to learn how to scuba dive. Separated it. <coughs> Room started caving in. <coughs> Didn't know what to do. I lost it. Don't worry. You just felt a little out of your element, that's all. I don't think he has an element. He should know his own limits for his own safety. Speaking of limits, is there one on your rudeness? It's too dangerous to go back in there. The ship's unstable. Uh, we'll try uh, something else tomorrow. What's the plan? If we can't go down there, we'll bring the ship to us. Perfect. Now that I've assembled agents who are loyal to me, I'm finally going to get Dante Vale. <laughs> Thread the needle, Icarus! <laughs> okay, we're ready for the counterweights. Freelancer, Springer, tie him up! How are the rings holding up? Good so far. 
It's not enough. Sir, we are violating orders, risking the Titan we promised to deliver. I am no errand boy. And you are not here to think, you are here to do as I say. Sir, prepare for revenge. We can tell this ship is from the right time period because the metalwork is bronze, like these rods. Why bronze? That's all they had. It took many more centuries to innovate ironwork and steel. So everything was made out of bronze then? It was like the plastic of ancient times? See? Our wreck looks just like the illustrations the Greeks left us of their vessels. However, there are things about this wreck that lead me to believe it's not the Argo itself. Like what? It's way more cramped than the Argo's description in the ancient legend, isn't it? Yes. Also, the cabin layout is very simple. I'd expect more from a flagship. My guess is it's one of the ships in the Argonaut fleet, but not the Argo itself. Now! Crew talk! Yeah! Breaker! Ah! Breaker! Mindroom! You are mine, Dante Bay! Poison Fang! Lend us your might, Metagolem! Oh no! I used up all my power on the ship! I always keep something in reserve for emergencies! Kill Fang! Take cover in the ship! Follow my lead. I know it looks pretty bad, but I have a plan. Crew talk, make a hole in the side of the ship for Breaker. Should I send the men in, sir? I will not allow that coward to escape. Keep the ship surrounded at all times. That's right, Dante Vale. You're completely surrounded. But this time, you don't have the option to surrender! This guy may be a total nut job, but he's got us cornered. Zalia, Locke, Sophie, go to the main entrance on the deck and bar the door. <sighs> hmm. We were told very specifically not to use that. Shut up! I'm going to finish this, and I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. What about you? I'll be fine. Just trust me the angle of that opening. I should be able to get in close without them seeing me. You should use small titans like Garion or Icarus to conserve your strength. Now take your positions. <laughs> Touch ram! Defoe! Your time has come, Dante Vale. Mind drone! Gargool! <laughs> Poison Fang! Yeah? Uh, 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 Crutok's acid isn't fast enough. The hull's been reinforced with an enchantment. Get up to the deck and find the entrance. Move it! How long will this hold? Not very. Hope you're ready for a fight. <laughs> Uh, poison Fang! Hyper Strike! <laughs> Fool! What good are fists against a sword? <laughs> you know, after all your failures, I figured the organization would have done something about you by now. <laughs> I'm guessing they must be really short of people. <laughs> 
Poison Fang! Touch Ram! I'm going to help Dante. I think you'd better stay. Don't tell me what to do. No one gives orders to the heiress of the Castorwill family. We got a job to do here, Sophie. Dante said so, right? Anyone can make mistakes. Dante could be in trouble. Uh, you'd better go with her. <laughs> Dragon Fist! <laughs> Touch Ram! You won't be able to defend my Titan attack at this range. It's over, Defoe. You'll have to finish me, Dante. I'll never surrender to you. Think again, Defoe! Sophie, wait! Bolt Flash! <laughs> Apparently, the tide has turned, Mr. Vale. Now it is you who must give up. I'm sorry, Dante! <laughs> Unlike you, I have no weakness. I don't make friends of my colleagues. So, they are expendable. You don't have friends at all, Defoe. Bolt Flare! Uh, Spider Touch! Uh, 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 yes, it must be time to eat because Defoe just got served. Dante, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean... <sighs> no time for that. Help Zalia. Uh. <laughs> I'm not here to bully Dante's puppy and a couple of girls. Just make this easy for everyone and surrender now. Girls? You must mean Sophie. I'm a woman. A woman who's about to make you eat those words. You take the three on the left, Sophie. I got the four on the right. I am no one's puppy! Hyper Strike! <sighs> this would be a lot easier if I still had enough power to summon Kipperin. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, what are those holes? Dragon Fist! Zolio, no! Ray Pulse! Enough! Release him! Abandon ship, boys, or he walks the plank. I took an oath. I won't leave my commanding officer. That won't be necessary, Greer. Promise you'll back off and I'll give you Defoe. He's from the organization, Dante. You can't trust any of them. I'm with Zalia. Do you really think someone like that would keep his word? Mm -hmm. So what do you say? Agreed. I won't break my word, Dante Vale. <sighs> Idiot! You will pay with your life for this weakness! Men, attack! Show no mercy! Mm -mm. What? What are you waiting for? Greer! I said attack! You are my minion, you idiot! Let me go! I will have your head for this betrayal! You serve me! Me! Without me, you are nothing! I will destroy you all! I swear it on my life! No! Sometimes honor can be found where you least expect it. I and so can courage. Locke took on four suits by himself and showed them a thing or two. To be honest, I didn't think you had it in you. I did. Like I said, you do best under pressure. Well, it's only natural that such a mighty warrior should have a sword. You mean it? Locke, it's time you had the offensive power to match your conviction. This is the Titan Lindorm. Be warned, it's difficult to control. He's not going to be able to bond with it. Now, now, we must give the boy a chance. She felt so destructive. I don't know if I could have bonded with that. But Locke managed anyway! Just because you bonded, Locke, doesn't mean you'll be able to control it in a real battle. For now, let's get back to our detective work. Dante, what's the most important part of the ship for stability? Well, every sailing ship relies on a main mast. Right. I think I figured out what those bronze poles are for. Okay, ready? And push! There! 
Wow, what is it? A map. We were correct. The ship isn't the Argo. It belonged to Atalanta, one of the bravest of the Argonauts. But her map tells us where the Argo was sunk. Apparently it's sunk in deep waters near the Aegean Islands. So to complete our mission, we've got to go track it down, don't we? Yes, but first we're going back to confer with Guggenheim. Mm. Zalia, what do you make of this? These are Defoe's amulets. Separating a seeker from an amulet isn't easy. You must have used the power sorrow bond. Don't go making assumptions. I could have just asked for them nicely. This won't hold them for long. We need to get them to the nearest Huntic Foundation safe house. That's right. While we check in with Guggenheim, I want you to take them. But all this power, it seems like a waste. Unfortunately, they've been bonded to a very evil man for too long to be useful for us. Hey, are you sure you want me to do this? I am the least trustworthy member of your team. Despite what Sophie says, I know that at the end of the day, I can trust you. <sighs> no one's ever said that to me before. Greer, reporting is ordered, sir. I see you have brought this unfortunate gentleman. The professor would like to see you personally, Greer. The quality of your work has always been exceptional. Just following orders, sir. That is what we expect and appreciate in the organization. It is time your orders came straight from the top. No, it wasn't my fault. 